Hello everyone, how do you like the new setup here? Soon I will do a video showing off this entire new setup I have here. I completely redid it and everything. Um, another camera change, so get used to it here. This is a permanent change here. Some things have gotten moved, well not some things, a lot of things got moved around, a lot of things got taken care of, a lot of things look way nicer now, some things are going to be gone, some things are going to be here. So anyway, let's get started with the video. Judging by the title, you already know that the iPod Nano and the iPod Shuffle are 100% discontinued, which a lot of people are upset about, and I can understand why, but at the same time, I'm going to give you my opinions on Apple discontinuing the iPod Nano and the iPod Shuffle and whether or not it'll really like make a big difference. So first off, as I just said, yesterday uh, Apple quietly killed off the iPod Nano and the Shuffle. They took it off their website and it's official. Uh, everyone was talking about it yesterday, I heard about it, and I was like, dang, I can't believe they killed them off. And I saw a lot of people posting on Instagram like, oh, just bought my iPod Shuffle and everything. And right here I have my own Shuffle. I bought this today for $46, it was like $49.99 with let me go get the receipt. This iPod Shuffle that you see here, right here, you know, cost $49.22. So, um, usually it's like $49.99 and plus shipping and everything. So, I got this for a decent price at Walmart. You know, Walmart's my place to go. You know, that's where I go. It's, I, it's actually just the closest place I knew that sold shuffles. Uh, my friend told me that to get the um, Product Red iPod Shuffle, and I would have gotten that one, but unfortunately they only had Space Gray and Blue, which I was a little bit disappointed about, but I got Blue since Space Gray, in my opinion, is basic and boring. I really don't like to have Space Gray or black devices anymore. I try to avoid them if I can. So the blue one is what I got. I'd also recommend that you get yourself an iPod Shuffle or even a Nano if you have the money because maybe eventually if you keep them sealed and everything they'll become rare or something they might be worth some money so plus it's just a good memento as the guy at the register said because what was funny was when I was buying this iPod today um, I came in there and I was like hey because I was looking like in this big glass case there were a bunch of iPods and stuff they were the shuffles and the nanos and the touches and everything and one of the uh, ca cashier guys came up to me and was like hey do you need any help with anything I was like, yeah, I do have the uh, the Product Red iPod Shuffle by chance, and he's like, no, unfortunately, Apple discontinued the iPod Nano and the Shuffle yesterday, uh, and I just said, yeah, I know, that's why I'm here, to pick one up, and he's like, ah, well, you know, you can go down to the Apple store in Indianapolis or somewhere else, I think Evansville is what he said, which is like three hours away for me to get a stinking $50 iPod Shuffle that they might not even have. So he was like, you can go down there and see if they have a proc red iPod shuffle. And I was like, no, that's not worth my time. I'll just get the blue one there. And then this little iPod here became mine. Now, what are my opinions on Apple discontinuing the iPod Nano and the shuffle? I know I'm saying that out of order. I should be saying the iPod shuffle and the Nano, but whatever. Anyway, the reason why I think Apple killed it, and it's not really why I think it. It's most likely like 99% the reason why. I mean, it's pretty logical. No one bought these things. In 2017, when you have an iPhone or some kind of mobile cellular device to listen to music with, why would you drop $50 on a little thing like this that only has, how much storage is it? On this that has two gigabytes of storage, most people I know don't even have two gigabytes of storage to drop on music. I'm getting close to this. I can still fit my whole library on this thing, but it's getting close, so you know. Um, the storage on these specifically is so small, so already that's out the window. Plus, you can already just use your phone for music. I mean, what's the point of this? And I remember a video that Austin Evans made. Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yo, these are the original... They didn't have a name. The original uh, iPod headphones. Wait, wait, wait. It even has that iPod smell. Yo, this is, this is bringing me back right now. That's crazy, though. It's so old that they literally haven't even updated it with earpods, which have been out for like... Five years now? <laughs> it's so weird that this is being sold today. I mean, this is not the same Apple who makes the MacBook Pro with no ports and the iPhone with no headphone jack. I mean, that's all they put on this. They didn't even put anything else. It's literally just a headphone jack. So the shuffle was pretty much obsolete because you don't really need it. Your phone does everything it can and it has only two gigabytes of storage, which, I mean, these things are kind of pointless. And then. The Nanos, on top of that, here I'm going to put it that way, 
The Nano iPods did have better purpose, of course, but at the same time, you can just use your iPhone or whatever device you use for music because it's just literally an FM radio player at best. I mean, I have a couple iPod Nanos here. I have this one, which this is the only reason why I'd ever use my iPod Nano because it's the 6th gen and you can wear it as a watch. This is literally the only purpose I see for an iPod Nano, not even the 7th gen, so you can really do that anymore though since they're longer bodies. I can only see someone buying the 6th gen 2017 as a watch, which is what I usually do. This doesn't even have a charge. If you can see right here, as soon as it boots up, all I use it for is a watch right there, and I don't even wear it that often because I'm not a watch kind of guy. So, you know, the only reason why you'd want a Nano is the 6th gen, which they haven't made for quite a few years now, is just for a watch. I can understand why people are upset about the iPod Shuffle and Nano being discontinued. For a lot of people, I know it was their first ever iPod, specifically their first ever Apple device. Mainly kids in my school, though. I, I, I was talking to someone about the shuffle today. He was like, oh, yeah, one time when I was like a little kid, yada, 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 I, get, I um, fed my dog an iPod shuffle, you know, because these things are so tiny and everything. I mean, to a little kid, they don't know any better. And he fed it to his dog thinking it was candy. I mean... You can't blame a little kid for that. A lot of people have good memories with the iPod Shuffle and the iPod Nano, and that's completely understandable. They were great devices for their time from 2005 to 2017. They had their purpose in life, but unfortunately that is no more. 12 years later, they're just completely pointless of having, and I'm sad to see them go. This is a very sad era. I mean, the end of the 32-bit era, the end of the iPod Nano and Shuffle era. Um, the, uh, the close to the end of the iOS 8 era as far as, you know, third-party support goes. A lot of things are coming to an end here, and it's just kind of sad to see a lot of things go. Um, the only iPod Touch left is just, or the, the only iPod left is the iPod Touch, specifically the 6th gen and the refurbished 5th gen. Those are the only two iPods you can get directly from Apple now. So, you know, those are the last two, or technically one standing as the iPod Touch. And if you want my opinion on the iPod Touch, I don't think they're going to come out with the 7th Gen iPod Touch. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, they haven't came out with it, or came out with an iPod, um, a new iPod Touch since July 2015, if I'm correct. I believe so, because it came with iOS 8.4, and yeah, July 2015, so it's been two years already. Although it took three years for Apple to um, come out with the iPod 6th Gen going from the 5th gen to the 6th gen, or gen, it took three and a half-ish years. So, you know, there's still a year and a half left-ish, right? A year, about a year left of us waiting for a 7th gen, if there is one. And if not, then I will be really sad to see the iPod Touch go, because that's the one that meant a lot to my childhood, and my uh, whole Apple life, I guess you can say. So, you know... And the iPod is dying. Well guys, hope you enjoyed my opinions on the iPod Shuffle and the iPod Nano dying, or not dying, becoming dead. They are literally dead now. Apple's done with them entirely. It's sad to see them go. Uh, I'm gonna go put this up in my uh, little case here. I haven't even shown this to you guys yet, but I have this whole beautiful case here, right here. I'm just gonna take this little iPod here, go ahead, put it up on its little stand. So, you know, I'll make a whole video on this whole thing, too. Don't worry. You'll get to see it all. But um, we'll take this iPod here. How do we want this to go up here? Oh, glimmering in the light. The beauty it is. Oh, right there. That looks pretty, right? Yeah, that looks pretty. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did like it, go ahead and leave a like on the video. Go ahead and follow my Twitter if you'd like. It's at the Apple Buyer. No spaces will be in the left corner of the video. Oh boy, I gotta get used to this. This is the left corner of the video, I think. I'll see when I edit this video, but it'll be in the left corner of the video. Links will be down below, of course. Thank you again for watching. I'll be showing off my new setup and everything very soon. And peace.